China has replaced all business tax with a value-added tax, or VAT. Now almost all goods and services are covered by the new scheme as four more business sectors adopt the policy. So what's the difference between China's old business tax and its new VAT tax? And what does the switch mean for China's economy? CCTV's Yang Zhao has our story. You're ready for a big change right on the horizon in China. Goodbye business tax and hello value added to tax. But it's not quite as simple as that. For a very long time, China has operated a dual system. VAT has been long imposed on intangible goods, but services are instead subjects to business tax. In 2012, China started the pilot program in Shanghai to extend the scope of VAT to include a variety of services. The program has been gradually expanded from some cities to the entire nation, and eventually, business tax will be replaced by VAT across the board from May the 1st. Let's take cafe as an example. Well, under the business tax system, the cafes are taxed on the basis of their coffee sales. The sales include not only their profit, but also their costs, like rental, decoration, utility, equipment, and coffee beans. But VAT works differently. The taxable amount excludes those material and input costs. Hence, as the name suggests, tax is levied on just the parts that's value added. So for manufacturers and service providers, a VAT along with deductible cost is almost like an incentive program. In the short term, the reform may have an impact on physical income. The government estimates that reform can cut about 500 billion yuan or 77.3 billion U.S. dollars of tax for corporation by the end of 2016. The reform will mostly affect local governments because business tax is a major source of income for them. But after business tax is replaced by VAT, which is collected by the central government, the question is how the tax income will be redistributed between central and local governments. The VAT system itself is also changing. Before the reform, the fixed assets such as houses and constructions were not a deductible cost when you're calculating VAT. But that's no longer the case under this reform. Taxes were not paid on these purchases. It would further lessen the burden of companies and encourage them to invest in more properties. Consumption type of VAT, which allows fixed assets to be deductible, is a more advanced VAT. Companies can benefit a lot given the purchase of fixed asset as a huge capital expenditure. It will also boost the process of property destocking in China. If a business annual sales are less than 5 million RMB and has been categorized as a small-scale taxpayer, the replacement with VAT system can effectively lower its tax payments by 40 percent. On the minds of many is the question, can customers buy stuff at a lower price? The reform aims at lowering the tax burden and injecting vitality into enterprises, but it's not targeting individual consumers directly. Whether to transfer profit to consumers will depend on enterprise themselves. Yang Zhao, CCTV, Beijing.